Hey, it's uh, Rich Sanford, Dauntless Design Collaborative here. Um, I've uh, in some of my uh, social media posts, I've shared uh, a number of um, posts of some 3D scanning I've done uh, using a Matterport, and you know, it's some of it's been some uh, commercial spaces where the um, uh, you know, like you can go through the tours and all that, and you know, it's good for for marketing for some. Um, Places like I've, I have a brewery and some gyms and stuff like that, um, but I also wanted to show you here what I use these models for. So here's a, a residential scan I actually did yesterday for a new residential project. So as you can kind of move around, just like you know anything else um, you may have seen, you kind of move around in, in the space as well. Um, but the Next step is, um, you know, so I have have this scan and have all this information. That's great, but now the next step is taking it into my drawing software and um, you know starting that process to uh, design what the uh, the homeowners in this case want to do. So, and show you. So I've already taken the model and uh, put it into the software. So you can see here is the the plan of of that same model. Um, it is a little different than what you see in Matterport. So here's like a, a 3D view of it. And you can see it's kind of boxy. And what, what that is, is it has all the, the scan information that the camera has uh, captured, floor, walls, and ceiling. So it's kind of capped off in, uh, in my view in, in, the, uh, in the software. Um, but then like, so for example, but I have all this in different information. So in my, in my software, I can actually create like these uh, this nice little handy section box and I can look at it from the side and you can see here looking from the side of the model um, I, I can see all the information and and I can orbit around and very similar to what um, you could see in a, in a public view of the, the kind of dollhouse view of the, um, the uh, uh, in, in Matterport uh, but but again, I can I have the ability here in the software to kind of slice it and look at it in all different types of angles. Um, the other thing then too is with um, you know starting to draw up the plans and that the first question is well how accurate is this? So if I go in here, what what this is actually called? Let me back up a second. Is a point cloud. And the reason why it's called a point cloud, as you can see, as I scan in, this becomes pixelated and it literally has points. So if I go to measure anything, every one of these points I can click to. So if I wanted to know the, you know, the, the distance, you can see here the, the line is going over. I click point to point, one, eight, one foot, eight and five sixty-fourths of an inch. So you can see what kind of uh, level of detail I can get as well. So like, actually, let me see. So point to point is 111, 256 of an inch. So it's like essentially, you know, every, every half inch I get a point that I can click to. And um, so, you know, so is this accurate in terms of what's in the real in the real world? So let me let me just grab my uh, laser measure here off screen. And I had I take some measurements with my with it. And um, just just to confirm um, some of the you know, some of the if, if the models uh, was processed correctly and, and whatnot. So I got about 12 foot five for dimension in this uh, living space, which was roughly from this point over to the wall, which is right around here. And I got 12 foot four, one foot, you know, so essentially it's, you know, 12 foot five. So uh, in plan, that's pretty accurate. Let me switch over here to a section because the other thing I did was I, I took a ceiling height. So I got a, in this room, I got a ceiling height of about seven foot eight. So you can see here in this section cut, here's this, here's the floor level, here's the ceiling. If I do the distance again, and now I'm actually going to click to the the line I have drawn that it indicates the floor in the in the software, and then go up here. Whoop. Click on one of those points, and again I have about seven foot eight here as well. So it's it's very fairly uh, accurate. In terms of, and I will tell you, I have seven foot eight, eleven and thirty seconds of an inch on the um, on the uh, the laser scanner or uh, the the you know the laser that I use to to get the measurements in the field. You know, essentially my my laser tape measure, and then you can see here when I when I did the measure seven foot eight, eleven and sixteen. So it's 
it's off by uh, you know a very minor minor amount so uh, just wanted to show you that and then um, let me go back here so now that I have this I have it already set up actually how I need to do it and now that I'm gonna I'm ready to start drawing I can go in here I can click on the you know start drawing my walls and the nice thing here let me actually set this so it's on the interior face of the wall is I can go in here start clicking on the point I can kinda tell like right here um, I, I know what the, what I'm looking for but that point cloud or that point right here is essentially the face of the wall and if you zoom out you can kinda see, you can kinda see it because there's a void here um, the scanner can't uh, capture obviously what's in the wall and then uh, I can go over here and you know start drawing my walls using these points again I'm on the interior face um, One more. There's a, a little bit of, um, you know, there might be a thicker wall here, or, or well, there is some stuff on this wall. So, but I can I can go in here. But I mean, I think in terms of um, what I'm showing here, this is pretty, uh, I think pretty, you know, clear in terms of, and the wall I'm drawing like a I think a 12 inch thick wall or eight inch thick wall. This might be a six inch thick wall, but uh, if I go in here. Clean it up real quick. You know, I have I have my my first room is already drawn, utilizing the um, the scan data that I got. And then now, if I can click, I can click on the edges of these walls, and uh, it's it's a little bit off. But again, you know, if I I can actually quickly, where is it? There it is. Change that to twelve foot three. So that's roughly what the you know the the dimension I got in the field, and you know I just continued the process throughout the uh, the rest of this um, you know the rest of the of, of this house uh, to draw the existing conditions. And again, I'm drawing all in three D. So these walls are coming in now. These walls are actually set at yeah. I can uh, this is the other thing real quick is it's a building information model. Uh, environment so not only am I you know drawing graphically what needs to be shown but you can see here I'm clicking on a wall that I just drew and it's telling me it was drawn you know it's at the first floor um, there is no uh, don't worry well you know what there's constraints and whatnot but it's right here is telling me the actual height that I just drew it at so I know I need this at like roughly seven foot eight and you can see right there the the wall was changed back to um, seven foot eight um, other things that are happening as I'm doing this, it's also telling me the length of the wall that I just drew, the area of the wall, the volume of the wall. So as I change this, so for example, let's say, you know, the volume will probably change here. So if I change this to 10 foot high, already these numbers, like the area and the volume numbers, change automatically. So it all happens in real time here. So uh, very handy. And here I'll even switch to the 3D view. And let's turn off the section box. Give me one second. Boom. And now you can see that these walls are um, starting to, uh, you know, are shown, you know, are in three dimensions as well. Oop, hold on. I was trying to bring them down to that seven foot eight dimension. There we go. Oh, and this one needs to go to seven foot eight as well. So there, so I have, you know, I have the first, the first room drawn for, for this house project. So just wanted to show you kind of uh, the application that I use it for after, you know, it's not just a pretty picture, a cool thing to kind of move around with. There's actually a functional uh, use I have for it as well in my day-to-day uh, -day processes here in the office.